In this video, we're gonna talk about event loop in Flutter. So what is event loop? Event loop is a programming construct or design pattern that continually tests and manage events and calls the appropriate routine to handle them. For example, the main function in the program is also the event loop that typically waits for the user to trigger something. Flutter uses Dart programming language. Dart is a single-threaded programming language by design because it is a single thread, so everywhere we have an asynchronized code. Many library functions return future objects and we can register handlers to respond to events such as mouse clicks, file I.O. completions, time aspirations, and etc. So quickly, we can say that Dart handles asynchronized programming by event loop. So what are the responsibilities of event loop? Event loop handles the execution of multiple chunks of your program over time. Event loop is what allows multiple operation in a non-blocking way. The multi-threaded system kernel helps handle multiple operation executing in the background. If there is a piece of code that may delay the response, we can tell the event loop to keep it aside until the response is received. When one of these operations completes, the kernel tells the event loop so that the appropriate callback may be queued and eventually to be executed. Simply, an event loop's job or responsibility is to take an item from the event queue and handle it. Repeat these two steps for as long as the queue has items. Are you wondering what is event queue? A Dart app has two queues to run the event loop. Event queue and micro task queue. The event queue contains all outside events such as input and output, mouse event, drawing events, timers, messages between Dart isolates, and so on. The microtask queue is necessary because the event handling code sometimes needs to complete a task later. But before returning control to the event loop, it is used to store very short asynchronized internal actions. All of the actions in the microtask queue will be executed before the event queue turn. Now I will show you the working flow of event loop. When we start the app, first, main function will be executed. Then the event loop starts its work. Event loop exists two queues, micro task queue and event queue. Firstly, it checks the micro task queue if it is empty or not. If it's not empty, it will execute any micro task in first in first out order. Once the micro task queue is empty, it will switch to event queue and check if any items exist in the event queue and execute them also in first in first out order. Event loop will then repeat the cycle, execute all micro tasks and then handle the next item on the event queue in first in first out order until both queues are empty and no more events are expected. Then the event loops will close and app disposed. So this is all about event loops in Flutter. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.